This video is sponsored by Easy Roller Dice. Easy Roller Dice has a new Kickstarter out for their color spray dice. Color spray, you say? Like the level one illusion spell in Dungeons and Dragons? And to that I say, yes. Kind of like that. Except that it isn't a spell, but color speckled RPG dice that are probably crafted using magic. There are up to 20 color and style combinations for these dice. You can pick them up in seven dice or 11 dice sets. Speckled beautiful dice to add to your collection. Gold, silver, black, and white with the Easy Roller Dice's signature font. Check out their Kickstarter by clicking the link in the description. Thanks again, Easy Roller Dice. Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Today I'm talking about a powerful magical artifact that is actually found in 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons. The Ring of Winter is a sentient artifact well known in magical circles of the realms and because of that, it is greatly sought after. Frost Giants, Red Wizards of Thay, the Zentarum, and the Harpers all wish to obtain the ring and use it for their own purposes, each feeling entitled to its ownership. The Ring of Winter's past isn't clear. We still don't know who actually created this artifact, but it must have been a very powerful creature based on the ring's powers. Some believe it was created by Azuth before he became a deity. Others believe it was a mage of overwhelming power that created the ring before presenting it to the frost maiden Aril, who blessed it. The ring's origins remain a mystery, but its existence is known and there are many who wish to do great good or great evil with the artifact. Historically, the Ring of Winter first surfaced over a millennium ago in present-day Shadowdale. The human, Lord Dalmas Rayburton, found the ring and used it for several years. Then, suddenly and hastily, he left the Forest Kingdom for Chult, and he never returned. Apparently, he tried to frighten a Cormirian noble into allowing him to perform an archaeological dig on the nobleman's property. Frightening him by using the Ring of Winter, the sentient ring took this too far and buried the entire village and the nobleman's estate in ice, killing all who resided there. Devastated, Rayburton took the ring to Chult. I spoke about this in my Jungles of Chult video a while back, so check out that video for more information. But Chult is home to Mesro, a city founded by the primordial slash deity Ubtau in negative 2,637 DR. Later on, Ubtau left the city but put some Bara'i in charge. These were seven chosen of Ubtau who are undying and protect Mesro as priest, kings, and queens. They are kind of like paladins. One of these is Dalmas Rayburton, who became a chosen of Ubtau after spending much time in Mesro. Rayburton developed a profound respect for the people and their religion, the worship of Ubtau. His reward was to become a Bara, protecting Mesro until his death. The Ring of Winter stayed with him until Artis Simber came into the picture. Artis Simber was the son of a Cormirian highwayman. After growing up, he became a harper for a brief period of time. He disagreed with the harper decision involving no involvement with an evil Zentarum wizard, so he left the organization. Artis and his good friend Sir Heidel decided to undertake the quest of locating and retrieving the Ring of Winter. They searched for 10 years and ultimately received a tip that the ring was located in Chult. So to Chult they went and Artis Simber found Mesro, but not before losing his friend Sir Heidel in combat. Artis found Dalmas Rayburton in Mesro and with him, the Ring of Winter. Artis used the ring to repel a goblin invasion of the ancient city and became a welcome member there. This occurred in 1363 DR. Artis, realizing the power and danger of the Ring of Winter, vowed to keep it protected. Second edition material suggests he left Chult to live somewhere in Faerun, isolated with his love Alessandra Raybert, the daughter of Dalmas. But Tomb of Annihilation for 5th edition showed us that Artis and Alessandra are living in Chult, protecting Mesro. The Ring of Winter is a sentient magical artifact and has safely been in Artis's possession for over a century. One of the ring's powers is that it stops aging, so Artis has been the same age for over 1,200 years now. Another power of the ring is that it defies attempts to magically locate it, to the point that the wearer cannot be targeted by divination magic or perceived through scrying sensors. This has prevented the frost giants who also want the ring from discovering Artis, but they did find their way to Chult after rumors the ring was there. The ring is a chaotic evil item with an intelligence of 14, wisdom of 14, and charisma of 17. It communicates emotion to the creature carrying or wielding it, and the ring can hear and see to a range of 60 feet. 
The nature of the ring craves destruction, and when first wearing it, the ring will try to take control of the user and compel them to cause undue harm to everyone and everything. You are immune to cold damage while attuned to the ring and don't suffer ill effects from extreme cold. The ring also has 12 charges that regain daily at dawn. Using these charges, you can lower the temperature around you to negative 30 degrees. You can cast a variety of spells that all have an ice twist. Bigby's hand, for example, is a hand made of ice. Spike growth alters the terrain, but the spikes are ice. And the spell flesh to stone turns the target into, you guessed it, ice. The attuned can also expend charges to create an inanimate ice object or an animated one. This creates a construct in the form of a beast that will follow your commands. Finally, there are rumors that the ring has further unexplored powers that can only be activated by a creature of evil alignment, whose will can't be broken by the ring. Frost giants wish to discover the ring because they believe it will bring a great freeze to the world. A djinn in the service of a Kalashite Pasha once claimed the ring could summon and control white dragons. At its most powerful, it is rumored that the ring can summon Cryonax, the prince of evil cold. One of the princes of elemental evil, but lesser known as Cryonax is not part of the main four, earth, fire, air, and water. I don't believe lawful Azuth would create the Ring of Winter, but if it was kissed by Aril, the evil goddess, perhaps that process changed it. In earlier editions, the ring was tied to the goddess Aril, and artist Simber was considered a chosen of Aril. Although artist might be a chosen of Aril, he doesn't follow or preach about Aril. He might not even know, and Aril made him a chosen out of some chaotic whim. Or a fun theory is that there is a piece of Aril's divinity in the Ring of Winter, which would explain the sentience and the urge for chaos. The Ring of Winter was published in second edition D&D books. It is currently a 5e magical artifact though, found in the adventure Tomb of Annihilation. If you can get your hands on it, you have a very powerful artifact. There is a lot left up to the DM in the area of powers the ring can do. From Volo's Guide to All Things Magical, the ring supposedly augments the power of other magical items within a 20 foot radius of it. If your items are exposed to the ring for more than 10 days, those magical items become more powerful. The ring can shatter metal with its cold properties, and the user can create piercing weapons out of ice that are as strong as steel. It is said that the ring serves only the powers of good, which is in contrast to its chaotic evil 5e description. If used for evil, the item will twist your intent to bring disaster to you and others. This is apparently what happened to Dalmas Rayburton all those years ago. If you're curious and want to know more, there is a Ring of Winter Forgotten Realms novel. I have not read it, but artist Simber is the main protagonist. Thanks for watching everyone. Special thanks again to Easy Roller Dice for sponsoring this video. Please check out their Kickstarter for some really nice dice designs. They have some lovely blue ones, perfect for an ice themed character who might be the next wielder of the Ring of Winter. As always, I'd love to have you subscribe. Please consider it, and thank you so much for those of you who already are. Links down below for my sources of this video. Thank you patrons so, so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.